I have another quick video I wanted to share with you guys on a command here. It is um, fastboot minus w flash all. And when you type that command in, you get this error message that says neither minus p product specified nor Android product outset. I'm going to show you how to set the path correctly so you can actually run the minus w flash all command. And um, just to recap, my device that I'm using here in the, in the video is the Google Nexus 7 2013 second generation tablet. Now mine is the Wi-Fi only version. It's the 32 gig model and it's currently running Android KitKat 4.4.2 on it. And I'll pull it up here to the video so you guys can kind of see what my product is here. Uh, the product name Flow. And as you can see, uh, my bootloader version and the rest of the stuff there. And my lock state is unlocked. So you got to be unlocked in order to do this, okay? But to get on with this uh, command, I just wanted to show you here on, on the screen how this, what happens here. Um, what you guys need to make sure you do is when you've downloaded the correct image file for your device, which I have downloaded mine in my Nexus 7 folder here, you're going to extract it and you're going to get these files in here, okay? What you want to do is copy all of those files okay and you want to then take those to where your platform tools is so I created a folder called ADT I'm gonna go into my folder here into the SDK folder and then I'm gonna go into platform tools and I'm gonna right click and paste the files in there the other thing you need to do here and if you don't do this it's gonna ask for it is this this uh, compressed file right here this package you want to extract these files as well so click extract here let those files extract in the directory here also because you're within those files you're gonna have the system the recovery the boot you know and the files necessary and also the other error message you could possibly get is the uh, Android dot or Android Android dash info text document here so these files need to be in your path and in your directory here okay so let me bring the command prompt back up now like I said when I simply tried to run fastboot minus w flash all I get this error message okay but before we do this make sure you guys understand that with this command it's gonna perform an entire Android system um, flash which means it's gonna write the boot the recovery the system partitions together um, it's going to verify uh, the system being flashed is compatible with the installed bootloader and radio and then it should reboot the system okay and it's also going to delete all your user data okay it's kind of similar to unlocking the bootloader in fast boot mode so it's going to wipe out your tablet again it's it's pretty much like a factory restore is basically what it is um, just be careful with it and um, you know depending on what state your tablets in you guys may have been able to back up your stuff so if you could do all that make sure you back up movies and, and pictures and all that stuff music okay so what you want to do here is I'm gonna copy and paste into the command window what you need to put in here now what you need to do is type it exactly as, uh, as I have it so you want to type set space Android underscore product underscore out equals okay and then what you simply want to do is uh, up here where your your path is here for you in your directory just right click and click copy address okay then go ahead and minimize that and right click in your command window and click paste and then what you want to do is hit enter okay now you should be able to run fast boot minus W flash all oh well, we gotta have an H in there so flash all make sure everything is spelled exactly correctly do it exactly as I'm doing it there and then hit enter and that should pretty much start the flash without error messages so as you can see you know it's gonna show you it's gonna verify your bootloader, um, checking product, checking bootloader version, sending boot, which is the boot image. It's going to send the recovery image, um, and it's going to go ahead and go on down the list. But that is how you correctly, you know, fix this error message 
neither minus P product specified nor Android product out set. Simply, you know, put that in there at exactly how I have it. And then paste wherever it is you have, you know, copy the address to the directory, wherever you have all your files, you know, downloaded into. So we'll give it just a minute. I'll let you guys see that it goes completely through. This is probably going to help a lot of people out. This seems to be a, a pretty big issue, but that is how you do it correctly. And it should take, you know, it only takes a couple of minutes here. And basically uh, formats your tablet. So if you guys were having issues with your tablet, lo like locking up, um, you know, freezing at the boot screen, at the colored circles that kind of spin around when it boots up that replaced like the X, the colored X. Um, it, should, it should correct all those issues because it actually writes a new recovery to your system. So some people even get stuck trying to recover their system. but And then you can see there that it's rebooting the tablet. And I'll pull that up a little closer. Basically, what we should have then is we should be back to the welcome screen. And then, of course, go through, enter your credentials, and you're all set. We'll wait for that to boot up, and then I'll go ahead and finish the video up. I really hope that helps you guys out of how to set the path and use to fast boot. Minus W flash all to flash your system. Just make sure when you guys download the image files that you're downloading the exact correct ones that the device and the product match before you do this. And as you can see, I ran that command and it went completely through with no errors at all. And if you guys want to watch any of my other videos, just go ahead and search through my YouTube channel. You know I have some other hard reset videos in there. Some I just uploaded another um, video showing you how to flash the Google Factory image. So, you know, if you guys are really jammed up, having trouble with your uh, tablet, some of those videos really may help you out. There's actually a lot of really good videos out there. Um, also rather than just my videos but there you go we are back at the welcome screen so that is how you correct that error message and set up the correct path for it um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe or comment my channel and you guys have a wonderful day thanks